There is no such thing as a perfect car, so while the Sequoia can last a very long time, it isn't perfect. This means that the Sequoia encounters a number of common problems, which we will go over in this short video, and we will talk about the second generation of Sequoia, which was produced from 2008 to 2022. And before we jump into the pool of this vehicle problems, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel. Issues with the Power Steering System Problems with the power steering system are not very common in modern vehicles. Nevertheless, despite the fact that both of these problems were initially brought on by manufacturing flaws that later led to recalls, the Sequoia still has them. According to reports, the power steering assembly on Toyota Sequoia models produced from 2008 to 2022 has a serious design flaw that could result in leaks. It can be a serious issue when these leaks eventually result in a total loss of steering power assistance. This issue has been the subject of two recalls. Oil consumption and leaks. Several Toyota Sequoia owners from the model years 2011 to 2021 have complained about a problem where the 5.7 liters V8 leaks oil from the camshaft tower sealer. The issue here is that because of the engine's slight inclination toward the driver, oil flows toward the cabin. When it reaches the exhaust, creates fumes that may enter the cabin. Because of how prevalent this problem was, there was even a recall for both the Sequoia and the Tundra models with 5.7 liters V8 engine. Some people have even claimed that this leak caused the Sequoia to catch fire, which is definitely not good. Broken Valve Springs The Toyota Sequoia may refuse to start or even stall while traveling down the highway if it has a broken or damaged valve spring. In addition, a lot of Toyota Sequoia owners from 2008 and later reported that their engines occasionally misfired and sputtered even shuttering the vehicle from left to right. The rest of the engine can actually sustain significant damage when a valve spring snaps. Owners of the Toyota Sequoia and Toyota Tundra who have experienced this problem have been quite upset by the fact that Toyota even issued a recall due to this problem, but not 5.7 liters V8 engine. It appears that it can be expensive to resolve this problem, which is probably why Toyota is slow to acknowledge it. Issues with the wheels the TPMS system and the lug nuts are two examples of these issues. The first issue involved the Sequoia models from 2008 and 2011, in which the vehicle failed to warn the driver of tire deflation. Since the U.S. federal transport regulations prohibit the use of vehicles without TPMS, this eventually led to a recall. Due to their failure to comply with U.S. transport regulations requiring all vehicles to have TPMS system that alert the driver if they notice tire deflation, Toyota recalled specific 2008 to 2011 Toyota Sequoia models back in March 2011. The other problem stems from faulty lug nuts that are vulnerable to cracking and can separate the wheel from the car. To replace these lug nuts, Toyota recalled a selection of Toyota Sequoia models from 2003 to 2017 in May 2017. Door Locks Issues A 2011 Toyota Sequoia owner voiced a complaint about the electric door latches breaking, which was a frequent issue with the 2010 Sequoia. However, those who complained about these problems the most were those who owned 2012 Toyota Sequoia models. Even after replacing the electric door actuators with genuine Toyota parts, they reported failures on all four doors. Excessive Gas Smell Gas vapor inhalation is a serious problem that must not be disregarded. Sadly, if you own a Toyota Sequoia, that is a little bit easier said than done. Owners of the Sequoia model from 2008 to 2014 have voiced complaints about the fuel and potentially offensive sulfuric or rotten egg odors that may seep into the cabin. Fuel odors may enter the cabin due to a damaged seal around the gas cap, but this problem may also be caused by a malfunctioning fuel pressure regulator. The rotten egg odor is probably the result of problems with the catalytic converter. Uncontrolled accelerations the Toyota Sequoia's tendency to accelerate on its own without driver input is arguably the most annoying problem of all. These problems are frequently quickly disregarded because many of the same ones with other cars were brought on by the accelerator pedal getting stuck behind the floor mat. However, the Sequoia did in fact accelerate on its own, so the problem was actually present. This was another reason Toyota issued a recall for the 2008 to 2010 Toyota Sequoia models in January 2010, as they needed to swap out specific parts that could engage the accelerator pedal due to friction. Many Sequoia owners, however, complained about this problem in their 2010 and later models, but these vehicles weren't recalled. Vehicle Stability Control Issues The VSC light on a 2012 Toyota Sequoia owner's vehicle kept flashing on and off for no apparent reason. The real problems, however, were more prevalent in later models, particularly the 2018 Toyota Sequoia, where the VSC system could accelerate or decelerate the vehicle on its own. 
it didn't take long to realize that this was a serious problem that needed to be addressed. This is the reason Toyota recalled particular 2018 Toyota Sequoia models in February 2018, as the vehicle's stability system had been known to malfunction and raise the likelihood of an accident involving the Sequoia. Dimly lit gauges. The dashboard lights on the 2016 Toyota Sequoia were too dim, some owners complained, making them difficult to read in bright sunlight. According to rumors, the Sequoia Premier model employs more potent bulbs, which ought to be added to other Sequoia models so that the driver can see the gauges more clearly. Airbag issues. Some of the most important safety features in modern automobiles are airbags. Since they are heavily regulated by the government and airbag defects are dangerous, even minor problems can result in recalls. This also implies that airbag issues may arise in a lot of modern vehicles, such as the Toyota Sequoia. A few of these problems are faulty airbags, faulty airbag inflators, defective airbags that don't deploy, issues with the airbag control module, or issues with a few of the related sensors. Shoot-up wires. Toyota used soy-based wiring harnesses, which are frequently very well liked by rodents, for many parts of the Toyota Sequoia electric systems. One 2014 Sequoia owner was incensed that he needed to pay for new wires and claimed that this was a clear manufacturing flaw. Owners of the 2016 and 2017 Sequoia models also voiced complaints about this problem. This problem also gave rise to a number of eager law firms looking to profit from a potential class action lawsuit, believing that owners of these Toyota vehicles should receive compensation. Lower Ball Joint Issues Many Toyota Sequoia models from the 2000s had problems with the lower ball joint shearing off on the steering system. Although these problems were fixed for more recent models, some 2008 Sequoia owners also reported having them. Toyota also issued a recall for more than 500,000 Sequoia models made before 2008, indicating that there was a significant problem with earlier models. Excessive Steering Wheel Vibrations Owners of the 2014, 2015, and 2016 Sequoia models have voiced complaints about the steering wheel vibrating excessively both at low speeds and at highway speeds. A 2014 Sequoia owner claimed that after taking his vehicle to the dealership, they balanced the tires, aligned the suspension, and performed numerous other services, but none of them fully resolved the issue. Car going in neutral. A 2013 Toyota Sequoia owner reported that his vehicle could enter neutral even without the key being in the ignition or the brake being applied. Naturally, this caused the car to roll backward and nearly cause a collision. Although the owner claimed to have contacted Toyota, neither the standard nor even the extended warranty covered the problem. Issues with the seats. Numerous Toyota Sequoia owners have noted two rather peculiar problems where the seat heating mechanism can either short circuit or become damaged and burn through the seats, injure the driver, and occasionally even set the entire car on fire. There are two active recalls related to this issue. Power windows issues. We'll also talk about a problem where Toyota's engineers neglected to grease up certain sliding electrical contacts inside the doors, which were vulnerable to short circuiting after a while and melting the power window master switch completely. Normally, this problem would have been initially fixed, but it was quickly realized that there was a manufacturing flaw, which ultimately prompted a recall. In October 2015, Toyota recalled a number of 2009 to 2011 Toyota Sequoia models because the sliding electrical contacts inside the doors were not lubricated, leaving them susceptible to moisture, grease, and debris. These would eventually cause a short circuit and cause the master power window switch to melt off. Exterior lighting issues. One owner of a 2011 Toyota Sequoia reported persistent issues with the high beam indicator turning on and off erratically. It was also reported that a few Sequoia models from 2009 and 2010 had this issue. This issue seems to be brought on by a defective headlight relay that needs to be changed. One owner, however, asserted that these issues persisted even after the relay was changed. So, that's it. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.